do you all really want all the this stuff in the, in the story? Well, it gets really detailed and some of it's ugly. He would pay him on the spot in cash. In hunting season, he took his uh, bird dog named Jack and a shotgun. <laughs> and he said it was the best job he ever had. Dave wasn't a man to like to sit behind the desk, but he was the man. Duval was ex-military, Navy, very much needed to be in control. But he was really a compassionate person. And there was a piece of paper face down on my desk. I turned it over, and it was my uncle's memo announcing his retirement. And I thought, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> if the company needed to get bigger, he needed to have somebody with more experience. And that's where Bob Kimmel came. When he spoke, when he walked, when he talked, you had a sense of he really knows what's going on. I'm a fixer. And he saw an opportunity. And he he took it. I watched him leverage this entire company, the whole net worth of it. I borrowed so much money, it was just scary. Bob, in a way, did get the company to a position where it could be sold, but it was sold to the employees. They were good people. And they get their hooks in you. We've got great people, and they are making my living. I'm just here. I would tell you my single best decision was picking a successor. There's plenty of people smarter, bigger, stronger, faster, right? If you want to be successful in this world, you got to love people. But if it was one thing that makes me come to work, that probably gets my juices going more than anything anymore is the people. That leadership's a privilege. I've always said if I can't have fun at work, then I'll go somewhere else. Elliot phone. It's an outstanding story. The great, great American dream kind of story.